Uh, welcome to AntLab Games. I'm your host, Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're playing... Confusing Lands. Confusing Lands. So, so confused. confused. Yeah, but confused. I'm not. <laughs> this is uh, uh, another one of the small box game series from uh, Envyborn Games with our good friend Matt. Mm -hmm. um, he makes these awesome little tiny package games that are really pack a lot of stuff into it. They do. They pack a lot of game into a, a lot of game. teeny tiny package. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So... Um, <laughs> When I think of a tiny epic game, like yeah. that's more what I think about versus yeah, yeah. the sprawling ones that come in a small one. Yeah, right, right. If you understand, if you know, you know. These are like, do travel well. Yeah, these really do. You could probably fit this in your back pocket. Um, so, what is Confusing Lens? It is a card placement game mm -hmm. where um, two players are going to take turns basically drafting cards mm -hmm. from each other and then putting them into their tableau. Real simple. Eight cards in your tableau, the game's over. Mm -hmm. You decide which side of the card you want to play down. Uh, one side really just has symbols. The other side is a scoring condition. Yeah. Um, and that's really the whole game. It's, it's so yes. simple but complex, and you'll yes. see. So. Very basic um, rules as far as like what you can place where, yep. but really it's up to you to make a tableau over the course of those like eight cards that you're putting down mm -hmm. that maximizes your scoring. Exactly. So there's a deck of 18 cards, and that's the whole core of the game. Uh, at the very beginning of the game, the first thing we're going to do is put a card out in the middle of the table scoring side up. Uh-huh. That will be our shared scoring condition. And there it is. Okay. So that Excellent. is um, crystals. Yep. Oh, actually, so you're going to that down a little bit. There you, go. there you go. Yeah, you'll get points for crystals that are, are the exclusive crystal in that column or row. You get four points. Yep. So basically, a crystal doesn't have any other crystals in the mm -hmm. same column or row. Yeah. We'll get you four points. So yep. you want to build a bunch of those to, to you know achieve the score. Um, Every round, we're basically going to deal out mm -hmm. two cards to each player. Yep. And then we decide which one we want to play into our tableau. We're going to pass the cards over, and that's sort of like the draft mechanic. Yeah. Um, remember, on the back of each card, there is a scoring condition. <laughs> and you can play as many of these out into your tableau as you want. Mm -hmm. What's the catch? Yes, there's a the catch. So you're going to lose 10 points for each scoring condition that you have in your landscape. Mm -hmm. So you wanna make sure that you're go you're maximizing your score enough that you're overcoming that <laughs> 10 point deficit that you're yeah. gonna start with, or just not placing out a ton of scoring conditions for the hell of it. The hell right? of it, yeah. So I'm just gonna put down a card with no scoring conditions. I'm putting down a card with a scoring condition. Well, she's we'll going see. right for it, right? Yeah, we'll see. So we're gonna Wait. pass the cards over and now we play the, the rest. Ah, uh, so this is rivers running into mountains. The rivers run through it. Which is a pretty cool one, but I don't think it really works for my tableau. So mm -hmm. uh, what is the placement rule here? Yeah, so you have to place your card over top of an existing card. Um, it has to cover like a whole cube, like a whole square. Mm -hmm. You can't be like doing like weird stuff like this. Um, you, that's pretty much it. You can cover stuff up like if you want to cover up elements because yep. that's fine and you can do that, but obviously you're not going to score those elements for anything. Um, that's pretty much it. Like, yeah, you cannot golden rule. cover the scoring condition spot. Yeah. So you couldn't put mm -hmm. it over here. Yeah. That's the one main rule. Yeah. Um, you can be rotated 90 degrees in any direction. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Either side doesn't yep. matter. Um, so it's real simple. Yeah. But once you place, it's stuck and you can't slide it underneath. That's another thing. <laughs> so when I, I was know, trying somebody, to like, kind of somebody like tries to do these here. things. <laughs> There's a way to break it. I will find it. She will find it. Oh, I don't like it. Either of these. I will cards. find you. And, and I will, will kill you. And I will place that card. <laughs> um, there's a lot of scoring conditions, so I need to look these up still. This is like mountains. Mountains four over molehills. All right, so this one here. Can I do that? Score two points for each space in your longest group of connected empty spaces. Oh, so I'm going to try to build a field of dreams if I can. I could do that. So I could technically start this. Start this up. Oh yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Take my card. Um, uh, so this is for every mountain, forest, and village. Oh, we get a point. Um, I want to work on my field of dreams, though. I think. So the longest chain of connecting fields. So I'm going to run. Run the fields wild. Wow, like that. Good? Yeah. Okay. okay. Two more cards. Hmm. Oh, this one looks good. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to go with this one. I think this is the one that I like. This is uh, for every 
pair of pet predator and prey. Mm -hmm. This will earn me perns. It'll earn you oh points. I was like, what's perns? It's perns. <laughs> mm, I think I could do that. Okay, we'll go with that. I don't know if that's smart, but here. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Uh, oh, man. I could put this right over here. I could put this right I need to bring this old guy over a little bit. Ugh. I think that's... <laughs> Yours is like all like boop, 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 like interwoven. Yeah, but it... It was legal. All right, okay. I believe that's how it was. Like that. All right, cool. Okay. Two, and then there's one card left over, and that's going to get burned. Um, I can move the camera a little bit. You're a little under it. There you go. Much what is better. this? You Probably have the thing. I just want to double check on what this one. Yeah. What means. number is it? It's number three. Or number two. Rather. With the forest. The number two. Number two is score three for each of your forest spaces that is connected that is in a connected group of two or more forest spaces, so mm, consecutive okay. cor forests. Gotcha. Um, I don't like don't either of these you gave so. me. Yeah. Not oh, good. That's got a lot of stuff. That's got a lot of stuff. I don't want to do... No, I don't really want a lot of scoring conditions. <laughs> I don't like this. Yeah, I don't want to do these. Um, Go like I could do that. that. I don't know. I guess I'm still on the board, right? Yep, there you go. Thank you. And we're going to just do oh, this. Oh, very nice. I like that. We're just going to do this. Ooh. Ah, eek. Okay. That's going to finish me. I don't necessarily love this, but that's okay. All right, that's the community. Ah, uh, I need three or more of these guys. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I'm not going to meet this one. It stinks. Um, yeah. Either. I mean, I could put this like here. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's score it up. All right. Um, Basically, so we'll score the. You have the pen oh, and wait, paper and the. Second. Wait a minute. I put this in the wrong spot. Put that there. Okay. All right. You got the, the score pad? Yeah, I'm good. I just. Like, I placed this in the wrong place. Okay. Go ahead. I'm good. You sure? Yes, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. Okay, so let's do the community. Okay. The shared. Yes. So this is the crystals that so are not in the same row. One, two, three. Don't get for those. All right, so you get 12. 12 points. And I get four points. I didn't even try to do the crystal <laughs> totally one. Totally forgot. <laughs> yeah, I honestly did. Totally forgot. Mm -hmm. But no biggie. So let's okay. go through your or my objectives first, and I'll yeah, do yours. Sure. So mine up here, so we'll do my scoring. So my scoring addition is for every pair of Predator pair and Prey, prey I get oh, six nice. points. Okay. So, so I've got one pair, two pairs, three pairs, four pairs. 24 All pairs. points. All pairs. 24 points. Four wow, pairs. yeah. Four pairs? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. One. So there's, you can yeah, just tell there's tons great. of them, right? Good job. Okay. And your next one? My oh, next fields. one. No, field, the consecutive fields. Let's see wow, what it says. Score okay. two points for each space in your longest group of connected empty spaces. Shut up. So I'm really? going to go 1, 2, wow. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 26 points. Holy moly, babe. Yeah, that was... Uh, I did not <laughs> did not do that well. Okay. Right. I don't know if I did well at all. All right. So read me number what nine. What number nine is each of your crystal spaces scores two points for each mountain space at exactly four space from it. Right, so here's a crystal space yep. with two, three, four. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, mm -hmm. four. So, so one, two, three. These are all within range of this guy, right? So two, four, six, eight mm -hmm. for that one. Um, crystal here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, these are exactly four spaces, Eight. not within four spaces, right? They have to be exactly four? Yes. Oh, equals four. Yeah. Oh. So it's a lot less points. Oh, I did So, this like, way. no. So, say this crystal. No, no, two, yes. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes. Yeah, so it gets two of them. So you score twice two. here. Okay. So just four for that guy. Okay. Yeah. Right. And then you got yeah. this guy. Who None has of those. One, two, three, four. Right. Four and four. Like, all these are all four. 
One, two, three, four. Yeah, so he's got three of them. So. And one, two, three, four. Yeah, four of them. So four of them. So that's eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. This guy has no, too close, too close. One, two, three, four, four, four for this guy again. Mm -hmm. three, yep, four, so eight. three of them. Well, maybe that wouldn't count because like, this is technically... No, I guess... Does this still count? Yeah, I would okay. say. Sure, so one, two, three, three, so six for that guy. And this one is going to be one, two, three, four, three, nope, one, two, no. So probably just a two. Mm -hmm. Okay. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There you go. That's it. Um, and then that. I didn't do that at all. <laughs> like, I mean, I tried, but it just what it, does it it didn't say? happen. I think I need to have three. Score forests. eight points for each of your prey spaces that is near three or more forest spaces. Yeah, which they're not. I tried to get it, but uh, it, he's it's on a hard the corner. One. Yeah, I had so that one too. And I do that to myself every time I put down scoring conditions with something on the corner. Yep. And I'm like, it's really hard and to you get, can't get to, it. to it. So <laughs> that was a zero. I failed miserably. So now time, for so. every objective, we get minus 10. Yeah, So I'm going to exactly. get tw negative 20. So you're, first of all, you're going to get a combined total of uh, 50 points, 54 points for your subtotal. Yep. I have a whopping 32. 32. Now we get minus. And I get I'm minus get 20. And I get minus 20 as well. So final score? Is 34. 34. Good. We're in the Ooh. positive. That's good. The 12. And not 12. bad. Well, not too bad. It's tough. <laughs> it is a tough. You saw. Like, it is. It that was tough. as simple as this game is. It's, yeah, it's very simple, but very, I wouldn't say confusing, but no. I guess the lands, the lands are confusing because confused, yeah. they're like, what is even happening on this? Land? Exactly. So, uh, but it's really neat. Like a lot of the, the whole game is scoring conditions. So I would say like the most difficult part of the game is mm -hmm. like learning the scoring conditions to the point that you feel comfortable looking at them. You know what they mean. Right. And you can kind of make your decisions quickly. Otherwise you're going to be fishing in the book a little bit to kind of like, what does this mean? Is this something I want to try yeah. to accomplish? Um, but even that is like... I think after a couple of games, you'd know... You do. All, you get it. Because there's only 18 of them, so you're yeah. going to remember them all. Yeah. But every game, they're going to come out differently. Yeah. At different times, it'll change the way the game mm -hmm. plays every single time. Yeah, but, it's really neat. Uh, really cool. For such a small, like I said, these small package games mm -hmm. that you could just... You could play this on the plane, you know what I mean? Like oh, yeah. On your, on yeah, your yeah. snack trays, and it doesn't even matter. But, yeah. Uh, but really cool. Love to see these... Um, these micro games that you can, you know, you're like, do I need, do I want to keep this as shelf space for it? Like, <laughs> literally, like, this is like <laughs> you can put this in your junk drawer. Like, it's yeah. it's that small. So for yeah. for the bang that you're getting for your buck, I think mm -hmm. it's it's a no brainer, man. Yeah, this is like again, it tra when I say like it travels well, I'm always thinking too of like those. 30 minute, 45 minute chunks of time that we have where we're kind of sitting, like mm -hmm. waiting for dance class to be over or, yeah. you know, something else. And, um, you know, waiting on a plane, waiting, you know, for something. And you can literally put this in your. Well, maybe if you have big pockets, you can mm -hmm. fit in your pocket. Otherwise, throw it in a yeah. bag or something. Some of us have deep pockets. Um, so, <laughs> you have deep pockets, and that means you can get confusing lands for yourself. Shouldn't yeah. <laughs> Pretty much anywhere. So, Absolutely. Um, a lot of you are at Origins right now. I think, I believe Matt's at Origins. Um, but if you can pick this up sometime this summer, you will not regret it. Confusing lands. <laughs> Check it out. Uh, let us know in the notes below if you are interested in Confusing Lands. Um, and I'm sure Matt will reach right out to you. Yes. And um, let us know what you think. And let us know if you're thinking about adding it to your collection. Yes. All right. Sounds so good. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. We'll see you.